Yeah, this is probably one of the most asked questions um, around the world, and I've tried to answer it by looking at uh, the two weevils, Neopetina brookii and Iconia, and the negative effects that they have on water hyacinth. The study site is probably about four odd hours drive north of here, and it's situated west of Richards Bay, at the Enseleni Nature Reserve, with the Enseleni River being its um, eastern boundary. The reasons for the study is that all previous studies that have been carried out um, in either pre- or post-release situations have been without a control, and also have not considered the effect that biological control agents are actually having, if there are any, in an open natural aquatic system, or if there are any other factors um, contributing to um, water hyacinth being affected neg negatively. The study took uh, two, ph was two phases. The first one was your pot trials. I'm not going to spend too much time on that because I've, I've only got three and a half minutes left, I think. Um, but I looked at the growth difference along this PTL, toxicity of the pesticide in the plant, and the frequency of her uh, pesticide application. So the field manipulations uh, set out 10 um, plots, uh, 20 square meter plots, filled them with uh, water hyacinth from surrounding areas, left them for two weeks to settle, and then five of the plots were sprayed with the insecticide every three weeks, and the other five plots were not sprayed at all. Um, Every three weeks I'll take a, um, a square meter of plants out of it. Uh, I'd look at the biomass of them as well as how many individual plants were within that square meter. Uh, plant measurements and biomass were also taken of all ten individual plants per plot. <coughs> Some of the results that I got, uh, phase two, uh, is that there's a significant difference between the biocontrol plots and the exclusion plots when you look at the longest PTL. If you look at the columns on the right hand side where the arrow is, you can quite easily see that the uh, PTLs are extremely short compared to those in the exclusion plots, the, uh, the black one. If we have a look at um, the biomass uh, for the 10 plants in total per square meter of, of plants removed, once again there's a significant difference um, between the biocontrol plot and the exclusion plot. To prove it photographically, the top left hand photograph is the original setup in August 2012 of the, the two types of plots, the biocontrol plot and uh, on the right and the exclusion plot on the left. Plants were of equal size. By October you could already start seeing a difference. Um, that's a photograph on the, on the right there. And then in, by December 2012, a couple of months later, there's a vast difference already. <coughs> At the end of the um, test, I've got two of my staff to hold up plants from the two adjacent plots, the left on the exclusion and the right on the biocontrol, and theoretically I don't have to say anything else. A photograph <laughs> tells it all. And those photographs have not been manipulated, I promise you. I'm not an IT expert, so I don't know how to do it. Thank you very much.